anything that you place in between your teeth is going to do some sort of deprogramming because the muscle, they're not going to remember where they used to go if you have something in between your teeth. Mm -hmm. So okay. into the metals, the first one that I've designed is some sort of NTI. So the NTI is something that goes in the front, fairly easy. Mm, Medisplint allows you to just with AI to do this. Mm. I follow all the steps so you can understand what we need to do. The program is going to think, well, this needs to go here and it's going to give us some sort of um, design on where that uh, anterior NTI is going to go. Mm. Okay. That's simple. Then we can add the name. I like to have a name just so I know which one, which is the patient. This is just mine. <laughs> yeah. That's my name. And then you can print directly this kind of uh, NTIs. But also, sometimes some patients, they might clench it into this. So this little uh, surface can break. One of the things that you can do is add a bit mm -hmm. so you can give it an extra support. Yeah. So I'm just adding... It's just easily adding uh, with the adding tools. There's just little tricks you can do. And so, you know, these kind of programs help you to change a few things if you like. Okay, so moving on to this plane is something quite similar. Mm -hmm. Again, you click onto anterior bite in mm -hmm. um, MediSplint and then into manual creation. You can do a automatic, probably with automatic is going to create something like the one we did before. Yeah. If we want to do a beast plane, we need to extend a bit towards the back. Mm. The beast plane, the difference here is say the patient can swallow this because it's small. Mm. So if it's big enough, the patient won't be able to swallow it. Yeah. And also if there is not much retention, see, you can go towards the back. Mm. Just a few changes that, that you can do. This kind of video, they're not accelerated. They're just at the same speed as I'm doing it. So mm. if this video takes two minutes, that's the two minutes that it took me. Mm. This is not going any quicker. So sometimes you want to accelerate things because it's loading, but these kind of splints, because the computer doesn't need to think too much because mm. they're quite simple to do, uh, it's quite easy. So mm -hmm. once you got the roughly the idea, you can move into the next step. That's what mm -hmm. it takes to think of a design that you want to do. Mm -hmm. I, I think Medit is doing a great job uh, with the anterior bites. Not many programs that I've seen, you have mm -hmm. that little mm -hmm. square in there. Oh. And I, I like it because it's flat. It allows me to have a flat surface. So what we don't want is having the teeth, the teeth form into these. Oh. So it needs to be as flat as possible so the patient can move freely mm. anywhere, to the left, to the right, or towards the front. Yeah. And you can add the name, and again, it's just the same. Yeah. And then a coist deep programmer, it's just um, deep programmers. The idea is the same. You have an interior stop. But it's just a way to hold it, especially we're going to see it later on. The Koichi programmer just goes through the palate. So if it goes through the palate, you don't need the teeth. So the good thing with this kind of device is it goes around the gums. It's fairly easy. So you just need to tell the program to drag the points. You bring that closer to the tooth. Eventually, I think Medit is doing some so many uh, the feedback that we give that we give, and then so many advancements and improvements. If we say thanks to AI, really in not no time, there's going to be one button that we click and it's going to create these kind of things. I think that things are moving really quick. But if you do a hundred of these, then the program knows how to do it and yeah. then. 
it's, it's going to be possible soon. And I think AI is taking over in many, many things. Uh, and I think Medi is doing an amazing job with, an, a, with AI as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. So that goes around the gum. Oh. This one yeah. looks so different from the normal one. So is it yeah. not uncomfortable? Is it okay? No, the, those kind of devices, they're not uncomfortable. Oh. So like movable dentures, they go into soft tissue, but yeah. it just grabs to the teeth and it, it's not, not uncomfortable at all. Mm. <laughs>